In this video, I will explain the use of rotary axis parameters. First of all, as you can see, tilting and rotary axis have the same parameters. These parameters are name, rotation axis, direction, limit, and index simultaneous. In the previous video, we have already explained how to set the rotary axis to A, B, or C. Now, I will explain the other parameters. I will start with rotary axis name. It is adjusted with custom axis name parameter. Normally, as you can see, if I change the axis of rotation, the name of the axis will change automatically. We've already explained the basic rule for rotary axis naming in the previous video. Almost all CNCs in the market obey this basic rule. However, there are some special machines in the market that do not follow the basic rule of rotation axis nomenclature. For such kind of special machines, you can independently change the name of the axis. For instance, you can write B for an axis with A axis configuration. Or in other words, you can name the rotary axis as B for an axis that rotates around X axis. The next parameter is rotation direction. Here, we have a machine with A axis as tilting and C as rotating axis. Now, A axis rotates counterclockwise, C axis rotates clockwise. We can also check this on the CNC machine display. I am rotating the tilting axis to plus side, and it is rotating counterclockwise. I am rotating the second axis to plus side, and it is rotating clockwise. Now I will change their rotation direction. Let's check their rotation directions now on the CNC machine display. As you can see, A axis starts to rotate clockwise. C axis also starts to rotate in the opposite direction. It is rotating counterclockwise now. The next parameter is the limit. Here, A axis rotation limit is currently set to minus to plus 120. And I see the same here on the machine view. Now, I will change the plus side limit to plus 30 degrees. You can see the same in the machine display view. C axis rotation limit is currently set to 0 to plus 360. And I see the same on the machine view. There is a special case here. Although we set the limit to 0 to 360 degrees, C axis rotation is actually not limited, it can continuously rotate outside of these limits. However, for machines with C axis that rotates from shorter path, this is the true adjustment. You should set these values to 0 and 360 degrees. There are also some CNCs with C axis which do not rotate from shorter side. For such kind of machines, you should set C axis limits to bigger values. These values should be compatible with real C axis limits of the CNC. For instance, you can write minus 10,000 for minimum and 10,000 for maximum. Adjusting the C-axis limit for head-head type machine is also important. Let's create a head-head type vertical machine now. Such machines often have C-axis with limited rotation capability. You can write their limits here. And let's see the result on the machine display view. By using Monispost, you do not allow these limits to limit you. Monispost developer algorithms put all rotary axis values within limits and allow you to perform all types of operations, even the simultaneous cuttings exceeding these limits. The last parameter here is the index simultaneous. There are two kind of rotary axis. The first one is the simultaneous. This type of rotary axis can be programmed to any angle, 
with 0.001 degree increments. Nowadays, most CNC's have simultaneous type rotary axis. You can use them both for simultaneous and indexed cutting operations. The second one is the indexing type rotary axis. Index rotary axis cannot rotate to every angle. It can only rotate with certain amount of steps, like 1 degree or 2.5 degrees. This type of rotary axis cannot be used for simultaneous cutting operations. They can only be indexed with allowable indexing increments. Index type machines require special post processors to function properly. Index selection is not yet active in the Monisbos developer. You can only define simultaneous type rotary axis. If you need a post processor for index type machine, inform our staff. Let's now look at nutating axis parameters. As you can see, the only difference here is the rotation axis and rotation direction setting. We've already explained defining the rotation vector of a nutating axis in the previous video. I will explain the reverse button here. Reverse button changes the rotation direction of a nutating axis. When we press this button, the signs of I, J, K components change. And this changes the rotation direction. Let's test it on the machine display view. I am rotating the nutating axis with the current I, J, K settings. Now I press the reverse button. As you can see, the rotation direction is reversed. Here is a special parameter that you will see in Monisbos Developer for all CNC's including 4 and 5 axes. Tool Axis In all CNC's, the tool axis is normally the Z-axis. This means that the cutting tool lies on the Z-axis at the default position of the rotary axis. However, there are exceptions. For instance, let's create a 4-axis CNC with Z-axis. This is a double column machine with a 90 degree head. You must define the tool axis either as plus or minus x or y to show the real orientation of the cutting tool at rotary axis zero location.